October 10th, 2022 marked a medical milestone in Kenya's medical field. The first ever bone marrow transplant was done at the Nairobi West Hospital here in Nairobi. When we talk of a transplant, it means somebody is getting um, a form of treatment. It's a form of medical treatment which is actually trying to replace diseased cells with normal cells. And what we're actually saying is that those services that could not be available um, uh, within our own country are now available and they can comfortably be done. 55-year-old Margaret Gathoni was the first patient. Margaret lived by the pill for years, not knowing what she was truly ailing from, even though she was being treated for anemia. He pneumonia had to do with the type. I don't know whether maybe there are types of pneumonia. Kananishika, nakatoki. Kananishika, nakatoki. Nakakona ushutungu sana. The whole of, uh, of my chest. Na tibiwa, naenda nafanyua MRI. Kukua tu naenderea tu hivo, nisipokuwa siwezi fanya kazi kubwa, nikifanya nasikia na hema. So, nikaona tu, there is something wrong with my body that has not been diagnosed. It was until 2020 when she was diagnosed with multiple myeloma, a blood cancer that affects several areas of a patient's body, such as the spine, the skull, pelvis and ribs. Sisi kwanza hatu kujua multiple myeloma ni nini. Kwa tunafikiria tu ni uonjwa, na terminologies hizi za medical. So, ni kugoja tu, tuambie multiple myeloma ni nini, na tutatiti wa aje. Ni kuwa tu na uopa kansa. Na mba hithari kile kitu mtu wa na uopa kina mpata. After several procedures, including chemotherapy to treat myeloma, Margaret was admitted at the Nairobi West Hospital, where several tests were done to prepare her for a bone marrow transplant. Walikuwa metuambia, sasa benye utaka, utaka kwa room and bio, uwezi kuwa contaminated na anything. Because wakati utalimuviwa stem cells, then... Uwekwe kimo. Kimo itawa everything. Sasa utabaki hauna platelet, utabaki hauna white blood cells. Kwa hivu hautakuwa na kiga, platelet ni ya kuzuhia krot, ni ya kuhini ya kueka krot, haiko. So, uwekatu wa kidogo, utabuhi duikufe. Sasa, ukipata infection, na, na, na if, if you, you get exposed, even kwa hii hewa ya kawaida, Unaweza, unaweza kuwa contaminated. You get infection na pegine na ukishikuwa hiyo sababu mwili wako hauna guvu, you can easily die. The hospital's chief medical director, Professor Andrew Gashi, says that a bone marrow transplant, also known as a stem cell transplant, is a medical treatment that replaces your bone marrow or your blood with healthy cells. One of the diseases that we know that is affected uh, that affect the bone marrow is, of course, diseases like uh, leukemias, um, lymphomas, myelomas, and so on and so forth. So the whole idea behind bone marrow transplant is to actually take out or obliterate all the abnormal cells and replace them with normal um, functioning cells. Margaret remembers her treatment journey as one for the books, full of tests, donations of cells from family just to mention a few kila time we test dio unaonekana kama kama zinakuwa kama white blood cells zinaanza kurudi na platelet zinaanza kurudi lakini unajua white blood cells unaduga kwa tushidana tu ku boost sasa zinaka zina ziko juu kidogo lakini platelet zikakuwa ziko chini so my uh, my and after all was said and done, she was back to the drawing board with her immunity and had to redo the immunization vaccines. Yeda ni kapata jabu za kwanza, tano. Kapatiwa polio, ni kapatiwa igini zinaiko, ni mo, ni mo, ni mo something, ni mo, ni mo koko, ni mo. Izo za pneumonia, izo mingi, sana izo, ni mepatiwa kama tano. Lakini miambio, after two months, tena niende zigini. So, nitaenderea tu na, na vaccine, baka sasa 
nizimalize sababu najua sasa wakati nitolewa hizo bonu maru ni kama nilirudi damu yangu ilirudi mpya sasa yenye polio nilikuwa nimepatiwa nikiwa mdogo ni kama ilimalizika e, ilitolewa so ni lazima nipatiwe ingine mpya so nimepatiwa hizo so far so good if i'm meeting i'm able to talk to you i'm able to laugh when people are laughing i'm able to go to church i went to church Margaret says that receiving this treatment locally was a relief compared to what she could have spent outside the country. We, we, are, we are trying to really contain these costs of the uh, bone marrow transplant. We are still doing the actual costing because e each of the cases will be kind of individualized. It will depend on the disease, it will depend on the, uh, the ex time, uh, time of treatment, the period of stay to the hospital. But generally speaking, generally speaking, Uh, we are anticipating it will cost us anything between $25,000 to $35,000. A quick mathematician will convert that probably roughly from 2.5 to 3.5. Uh, it is certainly it will certainly be lower than going out of the country. We are going to collaborate with insurance companies. We are already in very very advanced talk with NHIF on how because NHIF has been sponsoring some patients to uh, India. And seven months later, Margaret, who is now well and out of pain, and her family live to tell their story, giving hope to other Kenyans, reinforcing more confidence in the country's health systems. They have, a, they have connected a, a WhatsApp group for the people who have been done transplant. They always talk. So Margaret is like the, the, the first person to be consulted. They always ask her, how would that it happen? People think that you are going to be... There is like opening your body. I am happy and thankful to the hospital and to the Kenyans who helped me. And I thank God because every time we take, I take my blood for tests, it, is, it has always been negative. We thank God for that. Robbie Omodi K24 Health Beat.